Hi everyone! For anybody who doesn't already know me, my name is Ness and I am the Regional Self-Advocacy Coordinator for the West Region of Massachusetts. Every Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. I'll be posting a live video talking about human rights. Human rights are rights that everyone has. It doesn't matter what race or gender we are, it doesn't matter where in the world we're from or what religion we practice, and it doesn't matter if we have disabilities or if we're able-bodied. Human rights are rights are, that are the same for all of us. Because health and sickness is on everyone's minds right now, today I'm gonna to be talking about human rights when it comes to medical care. Article 25 of the United Nations Convention on Human Rights says that you have a right to proper health care, both to help prevent you from getting sick or hurt and to help you get better if you are sick or hurt. You also have a right not to be treated differently by your doctor because of having a disability or for any other reason. This means that it's not okay for a doctor to decide to pay more attention to another patient with the same illness as you just because you have a disability and the other patient does not. Another really important right when it comes to your medical care is that you have the right to choose what to do with your own body. No one, not your doctor or your staff or your parents, can force you to do something with your body if you say no. This means that what a doctor tells you to do, including medications they prescribe and diets they suggest, is just advice that you choose whether or not to follow. It's usually a good idea to follow your doctor's advice. Doctors have the most up-to-date medical information and they go to school for a really long time to be able to give you the best care possible. There are often very real health risks if you don't follow their advice. But in the end, it's your choice what you do with your own body. One major exception to this rule is if a judge in a courtroom tells you you have to do something. Sometimes if you get caught committing a crime, a judge might feel that if you went to therapy or took a certain medication, it might prevent you from committing other crimes in the future. If you do not follow a judge's advice, you could get in more trouble or even go to jail. Another major exception is if you're in danger of hurting yourself or others. Your staff and doctors can take action to keep you and other people safe if they feel that the risk is immediate. Sometimes if you have a guardian, they get the final say in certain medical decisions. They have to sign consent forms for medical treatments for you. Your guardian should always involve you as much as they possibly can in making decisions about your medical care. Also, even your guardian cannot force you to do things with your body that you don't want to do. You still have a right to say no. Your rights when it comes to medical care and your body don't change just because we're in a global pandemic. But the coronavirus pandemic has changed access to healthcare for all of us. For instance, doctors and hospitals are asking for everyone to call before they come in, both to avoiding, both to avoid exposing yourself to illness by coming into this place that's full of people with illnesses, and to avoid exposing anyone who's already there to anything you might be carrying. Remember that you can be carrying illnesses and not have any symptoms. Um, another thing that might be a little different now is that you might go to the pharmacy for medical supplies you need and find that they're sold out when normally they have everything you need. If you're unable to get the medical care you need, or if you're sick and you feel like you're facing discrimination and getting treated, I want to share a resource that might be able to help. The Partnership for Inclusive Disaster Strategies has started a hotline to provide healthcare advocacy to anyone with a disability during this time. To access this hotline, call 800-626-5949. Again, 800-626-5949 or email info at disasterstrategies.org. I'll also post an informative flyer about this hotline in the comments of this video. So to recap, you have a right to get medical care both to prevent you from getting sick or hurt and to help you get better if you are sick or hurt. Two, you have a right not to be discriminated against by your doctor or anyone else. Three, 
what happens to your body is your choice, and four, if you're a person with a disability and you're unable to access necessary medical care because of the coronavirus pandemic, or if you're facing discrimination in medical care, you can get medical advocacy by calling the Partnership for Inclusive Disaster Strategies hotline. Well, that's all I have for now. If you have any questions about anything I said today, or if you have an idea for a future human rights topic that you'd like to hear me talk about, please post a comment. I'll be back next week at 5.30 p.m. And don't forget to check on our West Breed and Self-Advocacy Facebook page often. We'll be posting new content five days a week, including trivia questions, live videos, and funny memes. Check out our full schedule on our Facebook page. And thank you all so much for watching. Have a phenomenal rest of your week and stay safe out there.